All right, welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add text into a Pages document. I know we've kind of gone over this a little bit, but this is just to uh, kind of give you two different examples of how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new document, just create a blank basic document. Uh, so the first thing it automatically does is it automatically brings up your cursor, which is that blue little uh, flashing light, and then it automatically brings up the keyboard. You can go ahead and turn that off, and you'll just see it's just a blank page. So go ahead and click anywhere, just tap on the screen, and it'll bring up your cursor, which automatically pops up on the keyboard. So you can type, this is an example of how to type text. So pretty simple. The double space bar tap brings up uh, period. I'm sure you guys already knew that. But so there's two different ways to really do that. So just like I did it, which as actually adding it to the body of the, of the document. So you're actually inputting that that text on a document. The other way to do it is if you click the plus sign up here, right up there in the top right, you can see how the little T bar is a text bar. You go and click the text bar, and then it's going to bring oh, actually an actual text box. Whoops. And so this text box, you can actually move around. And so this is great if you're really using pictures or you're kind of wanting to rearrange how the document looks instead of just typing it directly out into uh, the actual body. So what's cool about this is you, it's kind of giving you an extra thing to do that with. Uh, now you can go ahead and type here, this is a text box. And so you can work, it, the text box works exactly how the body works over here on the left, except you can, you're able to move it around and readjust it in terms of the layout. Uh, and I guess not really the layout, but in terms of how you can move around the text box. So let's go ahead and select it like we did before and like in the previous video on copy and paste. I highly recommend watching that if you haven't watched this yet. So the first thing you could do is let's go here and you can see the tab bar over here on the left. So I'm tabbing it just like you would uh, a tab on your computer. Then you can actually do the indent, which is the same kind of deal. Um, but that's just uh, for maybe spacing out a paragraph or doing something like that. The Helvetica is actually where you can change the font. Since I don't have any font highlighted, it's not going to change anything like that. So if I go here and then I, I select the text and then change the text, then it will actually show up for you. Now sliding over to this next thing, you're going to want, if you're ever changing text at all, you're going to want it highlighted. So you can click the plus, like the bigger A, which means it's going to keep increasing the size and it shows you that number right there, which is a 20 point font. You can go ahead and select it down here. Let's go over here. Let's say I just want to make this word bigger and let's say I want it bold, which shows you right there. There's italics and there's underlined. And then the next one over is the justification. So you can line it to the left, to the center. Uh, to the right or you can justify it if you're doing like a more formal document but I'll go ahead and click leave it over there plus sign just adds a little bit more features whether you want to add a page break column break footnote a link to let's say uh, if you're doing a bibliography or you just wanted to create a something uh, just a, you're taking notes and you wanted to highlight a, spec a specific website to go to uh, pretty simple there and that is the basics of changing and adding font to a pages document. If you guys have any questions about this video or how to add text or manipulate text, uh, make sure to email us at info at yourmachelpers.com or you can go ahead and find us on Facebook, post a message to our wall and we'll make sure to get back to you real quick and that is facebook.com slash machelpers. Thank you.